Call me as soon as you notice something unusual. Then we collect evidence of his ability. I'll send him to B, and we will go straight to the next one. Oh, tests. I am trash. I am trash. Can't even complete this assignment. You're worse than garbage. Write this 100 times and be better. Okay, Grandma. What the fuck? Trash, I am trash, I am trash. I am trash. got stoned not in a good way Jesus wait a minute we're in a different place now we teleported again Garbage. What? We're in another place now. Oh no, they're gonna make. They're gonna, oh god, what are they gonna do? Jesus, God, lady! Oh. Ah. Oh. Stupid cheap ass jump scare every time. Oh, some rope. this rope. Seven, 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 seven viewers. doors are locked. I can't get out. There's only one way out.
There's only one place left to go. And that is that closet looks like it's about to explode with devil power or something. See that shit? What the hell? What? Oh, I... I died, but I'm okay now? What? Looks like the Pokey from uh, Matilda. The cho was it called the Chokey? Whoops. What the hell does that one say? That was open before. <clears throat> The game is not stingy about lighter fluid. <coughs> you must find and combine two parts of hydrochloric acid and one part nitric acid. They moved it to the first aid post and hid it behind the closet, where they keep the violent ones. These things are dangerous. Combine them only in the lab mixer, then press the button and wait. After it's ready, gently pour everything into an empty flask. If it works, that should eat the lock in the dining room. If you do it right, the thing should dissolve the lock in the dining room. I really hope that you're uh, you're just being paranoid and you won't find anything there. <laughs> Mixer. Lol. I'll go to Mixer if I ever want to go from 100,000 viewers to 5,000. Um, okay, well, there's one part of the acid.
Maybe I'm missing something? Uh, I need an empty flask. That's what I need. Or a flask of nitric acid. Bad dog. Very bad dog. Doesn't seem very safe. Doesn't even have a lid on it. Aqua Regia added. What the fuck is that chart? All the candles, I don't like it being dark in here. So the dining room locks over here. Why don't we just find the key though? It's a big ass dining room for a bunch of little kids. It's a bunch of little ass tables. Or I'm a giant, one or the other. I can't forget this moment. An apple falls off the table, lands near our cook's body. Red splashes on his face. A girl is just standing there and smiling. <clears throat> I notice the knives a second later. They just floated above her. Dozens of them. I had to do something. I had to. What did I sign up for? Who are these kids? So she used psychic daggers to... head. Okay. This is fine. Dolls limbs. <laughs> Just 
Stop that shit. Oh my god. body. Ah, oh, man. Doll's head thrown in the pot. Boiled doll with a key added to inventory. Dinner's ready. The inspector will be here tomorrow, so by next morning, nothing should be left of our pig. What else do you have there? Head, ribs, a hoof? Throw it in the stew. Make sure the children eat everything. not fuck with the floating knife thingy. There's one more door left, and that's the children's ward. Now I have it. Okay. It's, it's so dark in here. One of the new ones, Yura, wanted to tell the inspectors of, about our work. The boys took care of them. Everything I do here is for their own good, and I'm glad at least someone understands that. We moved his body downstairs. It was a difficult day. So they murdered him. Lovely.
Why am I here exactly? I don't know what I'm doing in here. What the fuck are they doing? Worshipping baby? Shabby photo was taken somewhere in the orphanage. It's like a cage in a... Helicopter. Obviously occupied. <laughs> okay, we're fine. Got to throw in their cheap ass jump scare every now and then. You owe me. I sacrificed everything for you. You're the same pest as the rest of them, but I protected you. I was hiding you. I gave up all of them except you. It's time to pay. You brought them back, and now someone must take care of them. They should not be allowed to leave. You did it four times, so you do it one more time. I'm like a mother to you. Bring me back. Bring me back! Please help me. She didn't even say please. I know. Like, what kind of a. I'm not going to help you if you don't even. If we're going to sit there and write it in blood, you might as well add the magic word please, too. and toys and stuff.
he is here. Child's drawing at an inventory. Like an elephant wearing high heels, honestly. Join this game, it's okay. It's it's full of cheap jump scares, like me just going boo a lot of the time. Everyone abandoned you. I did not. Well, I'm the only one left. I could give up everything for you. I have no future now, no past, not even a name. There is only duty. I am care. I am kindness. I am strictness. I am Twitch Prime. I am mother. I am infinite value with the Amazon Prime membership. I am mother. You don't deserve me. You are ungrateful, empty, miserable, soulless, cowardly, prep, pest. No one cares about you except me. Love me. Sounds like she's overly coddly of her children. Why is Twitch Prime so angry? Because you're sitting there and you're not using her. You need to click on the sub button and use her so she stops being so mad. You're just ignoring her. Click the sub button. Click on Twitch Prime and use her. Make her happy. And by proxy, make me happy too. Thank you, Pixie Lana, for subbing with Twitch Prime. Thank you so much. And Don Marie, another one. And Rudy's another one. Can I pick up one at a time? And Top Dog and Theos Gaiman, Jafra, Mr. Bates, man, one after another after another. You guys are insane. Kai already knows that you tried to complain to that guy from the ministry. He's talking with the boys. Trolling another one. He's talking with the boys. Three of them already agreed to take care of you. If you don't want problems, you must bribe them. Steal something. Break into one of the closets or in the classroom. 
Maybe you'll find something in the kids' playroom that while you're on duty in the manger, there's still time. What matters is not to get caught until you find all the gifts. Do not talk to them until then. Just let leave them. Just leave what you find in their bunks until you haven't remembered. Haven't remembered yet. <coughs> their beds stand against the left wall. There are posters and photos near them. Uh oh. shimmery for a second there. Uh, this, the name of this game is something with the P and then Orphanage. It's a Russian name. Oh, man. I gotta take a shit. I'll be right back in a second. Oof.
Uh, uh, okay. What are we doing? Oh, okay. Whew. Must have been that chicken sausage this morning. <laughs> that was not fun. <clears throat> you look slim. I think I just lost about five pounds a second ago. Oh, no, Strong Battler. What well, took so long was sitting there like... Uh, 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 oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. <sighs> oh no. Oh, uh, uh, oh god. Uh. That's what took so long. <coughs> no, I'm fine. I'm fine. All right. What are we doing again? We're yeah, getting toys to the kids. Ugh. Alright, new phone, who dis? Why am I doing this? I am alone among children and corpses. There is no one else. My career, my family, my future I destroyed everything. But I continue to watch over them. Why? Is it maternal love? Duty? Guilt? This is stupid. They are ungrateful, immoral rats. They respect only strength and fear. There's nothing to love. Maybe I will just... Maybe i just like to see myself as a good person. <clears throat> Is it the feeling of power over someone, or is it the pride of my own work? I don't know. Maybe you understand the reasons? Tell me why did you come looking for your brother? Thank <laughs> you. 
more now um next one's in a closet next to the, the the dude's like yo what up oh Yo. Thankfully, he's super blind. Is that Madrinus? Yes, it is. see that poster. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> Rough night. <laughs> but the door was closed. The door was closed. Говорят, что детдомовские чувствуют, кого усыновят первым, а кому придется ждать до восемнадцати. Когда вас привезли, Я сразу поняла, ты здесь ненадолго. Так и произошло. Твой брат. С ним все было наоборот. Он очень переживал, когда ты уехал. Замкнулся в себе. Перестал доверять людям. Ему было непросто. А тебе... Пожалуй, не просто было всем. Союз распался. Никто не был уверен в том, что будет дальше. Вначале деньги поступали с задержкой. Потом совсем перестали. Но нас не закрывали. Тоже накладно. Воспитатели уходили. Детей было нечем кормить. Я работала за пятерых. Пыталась заменить всех, кого могла. Не получилось. 
несчастный случай. Я думала, что она притворяется, хочет пропустить занятия. Никто не верил, что она и правда тонет. Тогда ты еще был с нами, так? Ты видел все сам. Я сожгла все ее документы, все упоминания о переводе. Никто не должен был знать, что ее вообще сюда привозили. Иначе вы бы все оказались на улице. Иначе работа всей жизни была бы впустую. Никто не должен был знать. Но они узнали. Мне начали приходить звонки. Мужчина рассказывал, как детей отберут, как приют закроют, как меня посадят. Если только я не соглашусь помочь. Им нужно было место для того, чтобы присмотреть за группой подростков. Без лишних документов и без вопросов. Он видел в нашем приюте потенциал предлагал взять финансирование на себя. Я согласен. Stop calling me. Они сказали, что заберут, когда дети будут готовы. Мы узнали, что это значит, когда один из воспитателей решил наказать новичка. И перестарался. Все вышло из-под контроля. Ножи поднялись в воздух и мне. Пришлось остановить его. Мы избавились от улик. Постепенно это случалось с каждым из них. Любой нервный срыв. Любая истерика могли спровоцировать проявление чего-то странного. Спонтанные возгорания, массовые галлюцинации, вспышки ярости. Мы жили в кошмаре. Я не знала, что делать, к кому обратиться. Пришлось все брать под контроль. Мы больше не ждали нервных срывов. Мы начали их вызывать. Ужесточили наказание. Запирали их в одиночных комнатах. Держали в подвале. Мы давили на них по очереди. И все странности начали происходить там, где мы хотим. За закрытыми дверями. Так было безопаснее. И для нас, и для них. Эти эффекты проявлялись не сразу. Мы продолжали давить. Иногда это заканчивалось печально. Я научилась закрывать на это глаза. Мы выполняли нужную работу. Выявляли и изолировали тех, кто был опасен. Мы не знали, где их находят и куда увозят после нашей работы. Мы делали вид, что они не настоящие. Не такие, как нормальные дети. Пока я не узнала, что твой брат один из них. Вас привезли до сделки. Не знаю, как так получилось. 
Может быть, решили проверить меня на вас двоих. Твое усыновление плохо на нем сказалось. Новый порядок его уничтожил. Кай потерял связь с реальностью. Начал общаться с погибшими. Рассказывал про их смерть. Читал письма с их воспоминаниями. Никого не напоминает. Кай говорил только с ними. И я видела, как они отвечали. Он вернул их. Я видела в нем все, на что пошла и что потеряла. Когда пришли люди, чтобы забрать остальных, я не могла согласиться, как раньше. Я пыталась их остановить. Не получилось. А после... Кай вернул меня. Мы повторяем то, к чему он привык. Следим за ними и наказываем. Снова и снова. Мы все застряли в изувеченных, сломанных воспоминаниях. Его представление о том, как этот приют должен работать. Мы играли своей роли, и он был счастлив. Пока не пришел ты. Ты пугаешь его. Напоминаешь ему о том, кем он был раньше. Кай сломан. Ты не вылечишь его. Только сделаешь еще хуже. Так что для тебя важнее? Успокоить свою совесть? Старые воспоминания? Или дать покой своему брату? Ты можешь отпустить всех, кого он вернул, и лишить Кая цели. А можешь поставить их на место, наказать и дать ему возможность снова почувствовать себя нужным. Решай. Oh, this is like Mass Effect 3's ending. They want red or white ending. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, we'll do the good ending. Why not? Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe there's, there isn't more than one in it. Oh. Well, that was one of the reasons I stopped 
do in Horror Month is shitty endings. Where you're just like, really? Really? Okay, sure. Great. That was... As a as for a for a it indie horror game though, like it was decent. I give this game like a, a like a six or a seven out of ten for like scares and spoops and stuff. But okay, we're we're down to a five. And we're at a four. Because you can't put and it's thriller that's copyrighted <sighs> I'm curious if we can choose the other in there So they're trapped forever. Oh, so if you do the bad ending, you don't get the, the, actually no, I think it starts a little bit later. Okie dokie. Well, that was. That was something. That was a game. That was. That was something, all right. I've played far worse. I've also played far better. So I'd say it was like passable game. And it was how much was it? It was six dollars. So it that's a six dollar horror game, sure. And since it's only six bucks, yeah, like I'll give it a seven out of ten. It's for six bucks, not bad. Yeah, very, very, 
very like it took like what like three or four hours to do six dollars Yeah, I was like, eh, factor in the price. And it's like, okay, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, let's see. The other one, Lost in Vivos, would be good. 